court packing. We keep hearing the term, but what is it? Where did it begin? And why does it matter for everyday Americans? The term court packing first came to be in the 1930s during Franklin Delano Roosevelt's presidency. A very conservative Supreme Court majority of five was blocking essentially every piece of progressive legislation that was coming before the court on the grounds that it violated so-called freedom of contract. So you would have legislation that would say that you couldn't use child labor. And the Supreme Court said, but that violates the freedom to contract with children for their labor. FDR had won in both an electoral and popular vote landslide, and the American people backed him and his policies. But the court, which leaned conservative, didn't reflect that, which became increasingly frustrating to the president. He proposed to increase the number of justices, or pack the court, to reflect the fact that the American people overwhelmingly wanted his proposed progressive legislation to get through the Supreme Court and better the lives of millions of Americans. The effort to do so was very unpopular, even though Roosevelt was a very popular president and had just been reelected. And so he abandoned the process but the pressure on the Supreme Court was quite strong, and ultimately one of those five justices in the majority switched sides and began allowing this legislation to go forward, uh, and that really saved the legitimacy of the Supreme Court. Professor Schiff Berman says our current crisis is arguably the same as FDR's, but the roles and timing are reversed. Unlike FDR, President Trump did not win a majority of the vote, and according to Pew Research Center, his approval rating currently sits at 38 percent, meaning his policies do not reflect the average American. The court really threatens its own legitimacy if it ever gets too far ahead or beyond behind the American popular consensus. And so at the time of the New Deal, it was clear that the court had gotten behind where the American public were, and that created this court packing crisis. Arguably, we are now approaching a similar kind of crisis of legitimacy for the Supreme Court, and we'll have to see what happens going forward.